Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm here to introduce the new series, the Bristol Rovers se series. I think I'm going to be calling it uh, Bringing Bristol Back. So, this is my like time with Bristol Rovers when I got offered the job, and I made a new save and accepted it. Uh, when I took us on, um, for, like after this game, we were 23rd in the league at 24 with I think 14 points I think so in the first game we had uh, Huddersfield who are actually the league leaders 2-1 we lost uh, Leon Britton and Ra Raffle Boguski and then Gavin Massey for us we had that for actually a pretty good time the 80th minute and then we conceded two then we lost to Notts County 1-0 and Eero for them and Bradley Diallo got sent off which sort of led to their goal we did actually pretty well in this game like we held our own in this game too uh, then we had Doncaster 3-2 which was pretty good our first win well my first win as manager as Bristol uh, Carl McLagan Wayne Brown Gavin Massey then for them Luke Hyman Geo Barnes we took a 2-0 lead and they went to 2-2 and then uh, Gavin Massey gave us a 3-2 win there which is pretty good then we had Crawley away 1-0, Gavin Massey for us. It was pretty good. We really held on for this one in the last like 20 minutes. They like pretty much dominated the second half. Then we had Carlisle, 2-2. Two -two. To be honest, I think we should, we deserved to win this one. Like They got a penalty uh, from James ba uh, Barrett. Yeah. Then we scored with Nick Woods. Sammy Obi Amiobi scored for them in the 84th minute, which I thought was... like. A bit cheese because we like dominated as you can see in the match fifty seven percent possession, eleven shots, six on target, and then the last minute uh, Ishmael Ishmael uh, Derman Tag Tanyak scored in the ninety second minute to give us the draw, which is pretty good, and then we had Wickham away who are also like relegation battlers three two, Karma Lagan scoring two for us. Taking us 2 0 up again, and then we lost it. They completely dominated the second half, like completely. And then, like, Marvin McCoy, and then Jamie Mole in the 89th minute, which I thought was going to be 2 2 as well. And I just put us on standard because we'd be on counter. And we got a corner, and uh, Daniel Balassa, our captain, scored in the 92nd minute. So this means that now we were down here in 23rd, I think in 19 games, and in four games we've. Four or five games, we've moved up to nineteenth on twenty-four points, and to be honest, we're on the same as Wind and Rochdale. Uh, at the top is Huddersfield, and then Burnley, Plymouth are in the promotion with Tranmere, Bournemouth, and Notts County. Down at the bottom is Gillingham, MK Dons, Oldham, Wickham, Brentford, us, Rochdale, and Swindon, and then the mid tables from Crawley to Bristol City. So if you have a look at the squads. Um, we don't have most like our best players are from on loan, and then we're in a bad situation for money. Like we're three k below on wages. If you look at the finances, if I can find it, um, uh, okay, here we go. Finances, debt two million in debt, losing around a hundred thousand a month. So I need to sort this out at the end of the season, to be honest, because. A lot of these people on contracts, on big contracts, and I don't really need them. Like, hey, Insa, he's not that good, and he's on 3000 a week nearly. And Matt Gill, he's on 2000 a week, I don't even play him. So I think at the end of the season I'm going to do a whole, whole team reform, I think, or try to, and, like, see how far we're going to get. So if you look at the fixtures, we are halfway through the season at the moment. Uh, 23 games played out of a 46 game. So basically, I'm just going to do to the end of the season, really. And then I'll show you guys what happened. So yeah, we're out of all the Cups. Lost to Woking in the FA Cup before I got here. Then lost to Bristol City in the Johnson's Paints Trophy. And then lost to Wolves in the League Cup. So yeah, we're out of all those Cups. All we can focus on now is the League. And it's done pretty well so far to get us out of the relegation zone. So guys, it has been Alex, and I will be back at the end of the season, so with Bristol. Yeah, see ya.